Hi, my name is Julian and I'm working as a sales manager at Combos. As you probably already know, each Revolution Pi system has either a RevPi Core or a RevPi Connect as a base module. So you might wonder, what are the main differences between those two? Well, that's what we are going to talk about in today's video. But before starting with the differences, let's talk about the similarities. Well, all core and connect systems have a lot of things in common. Cores and connects are all equipped with the Raspberry Pi compute module. They are having customized Raspberry operating system and can be enhanced by various expansion modules. Both are powered by 24 volt DC and have two USB ports, as well as one micro USB and one micro HDMI port. All right, so what are the differences now? Let's have a look. As you can see, the RevPi Connect is twice as wide as the RevPi Core, giving us the chance to equip the Connect with additional hardware interfaces, such as a second and separate Ethernet port. This gives the Connect the ability to be integrated at the same time into two separate networks, which is a very useful feature when using the Connect as an industrial Internet of Things gateway. Another obvious feature that only the RevPi Connect has is the RS485 port, which is located next to the two USB ports. This RS485 interface comes in handy if you want to connect one or more Modbus RTU sensors to the system without having to use a separate adapter. Furthermore, we equip the RevPi Connect with a hardware watchdog which gives you the ability to let your system automatically restart after a crash. Especially if your Revolution Pi system is installed somewhere you can't get too quickly, a hardware watchdog in such a case is really a plus. We also added a freely programmable relay switching contact, so connected external devices, for example a 4G router, can be monitored or reset it remotely. Last but not least, we added a 24 volt input for receiving shutdown signals of an UPS. Before coming to an end today, let's have a look at the top of the RevPi Core and the RevPi Connect systems. As you can see, both devices have those overhead connectors to connect various expansion modules such as IOs and gateways. However, there is one thing you have to pay attention. While the two connectors of the RevPi Core are the same, the RevPi Connect has two different connectors. And that's because for the RevPi Connect, we have some exclusive expansion modules like MBUS and CANBUS gateways, which have, for technical reasons, a different pin layout than the regular expansion modules. For more details about the modularity and the different expansion modules, please have a look to our video explaining the modularity of the Revolution Pi system. We also put the link to that video below this video. Okay, I hope that I could clear things up a bit regarding the differences between the RevPi Core and the RevPi Connect. If not, just drop off a comment below this video and we would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye.